Hello, my beautiful Aquarius dragons. Welcome to your June reading. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have pre-done some uh, cards for you, pre-dealt them. So let's see where we go. So we have by the book, Mending Never Ending Story and Flexible. I feel that you, um, so here's the thing. And this is what I got right off the bat. I don't get a heavy super crazy heavy energy from it, I feel like you're starting to realize that healing is a never-ending story, <laughs> okay? It's like, well, I keep trying it, and why do I have to keep coming back? But And, and the reason why I get more of a lighthearted feel with this is that you have flexible. So look at this. You have 10, 10, right? <clears throat> 7 and 3. Sorry, 3 and 7, and 1 and 9. <clears throat> so this is about moving on. So this is about you knowing that healing isn't just a one-time journey, right? And that you're going to keep growing and you're going to keep um, dedicating time to yourself. So if you don't know that yet, now you do. I'm sorry, guys. I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Let me just take a sip. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's get some cards for you guys. Aquarius. That one's like slow to come out. Okay. Okay. So oh, over here, I'm just going to move these all down for a second. There we go. So over here we have the four of pentacles and it's sort of in a sideways position. So I feel like you might've been hanging on to something too tight and you were sort of stopping the flow. Um, it, it's, 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 and I don't think you were being greedy. I think that you were doing it out of self-protection. You're very, like, it's like, I'm by the book, right? Do, 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 very rigid, very, um, I'm just getting very stubborn. Okay. No, this has to be done this way. Right. And it's so very, uh, very un-Aquarius like, um, air sign, um, but something sort of made you go into that mode. Yet you thought, why are you being, you're hanging on to something. Now, I don't, I don't know if this is material because you have, you have two pentacles already. So this is something to do with like either your health uh, your education, finances, something like that. Um, something to do with business or your job or something. Because then you have the four of ones. So this is like celebration. This is big. Like this is the most positive card. And I think that you thought that your happiness would come from the slow and steady, right? Like maybe you, and I'm hearing like, maybe you have an old mindset. And let me explain that where if you work really hard for one company that they'll reward you. Well, that's the way it was when my grandfather worked. <laughs> he got the plaque 35 years, right? Like that's the way life used to be, right? Life isn't like that anymore. There is no appreciation. You really are a number, right? In a smaller company, you may find a little bit more loyalty and dedication, but right? People are pretty expendable these days. It's kind of sad. So we have this nine of pentacles and you're really, really wishing that you could get unstuck. You're really hoping to get out of whatever this is. And there may be some external circumstances affecting you. Um, you are finding some mental clarity in this situation with the ace of swords. You're getting an understanding. This is this mending. You're getting an understanding of what's happening here. The hermit in reverse. I think, hmm. I think that you're going inside to try to sort of rethink this because look at this. It's like you have this headache and it's the hermit in reverse and it's like, okay, I need to go inside so that I can figure out how to deal with these things, right? You have the Knight of Cups sideways. I think that you've been waiting for an offer 
and it might not have come through. Okay. Um, I don't get a heavy, this, I don't get a heavy love reading out of this at all. Look at this because the King of Pentacles is in reverse and the Ten of Wands is in the upright. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah. So King of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, I think you're seeing some of the imbalances that are in your thinking and your mindset. Like, I just, it, like, I just want to ask you, why are you being so rigid? <laughs> and I'm sorry, I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. It came to me. It's like, why are you being so rigid? And it's like, you need to be more flexible, right? And I feel like through the guidance, okay, so this Knight of Cups is also about people coming in that are friends, right? So these are people who are honest and, and, and intelligent and helpful, and they're coming in to you, okay? And they might be helping you try to move on, right? Um, and that's what this Ten of Wands is about. This is about taking up new responsibilities to start a new beginning, okay? So this is starting a new cycle, and this is what this is. It's, it's about this never ending story. Well, it's about ending it. This is walking away from your never ending story. Cause look at this six of swords again, right? This is about a rite of passage transition, new directions, right? Letting go, moving on, right? This is also about moving towards a space of safety and security. And it could be with somebody else. This is the only time love comes into this. So you could be in a relationship while you're going through this, um, or you could be on your own. And the two of cups, it could be you uniting with yourself. I don't really, I, like there's, I'm not getting a clear direction on what the two of cups is. It could be you uniting with somebody else as well. Once you've sort of moved away from this, staying here is keeping you stuck. Okay. That's what that's doing. You have to have this ace of wands. This is that aha moment. All right. It's that, ah, this is what your raw power breakthroughs, right? This is like, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. Aquarius, do you have any clarifications or advice for Aquarius, please? What do you have? You may have somebody in your life that is a, um, I'm not going to take all those. You may have somebody in your life because the Queen of Wands came out over this. You know how here I said you might already be with somebody? So this message is for somebody who may have a partner who's actually a Queen of Wands energy. So it doesn't have to be a female, but it could be um, fire sign. Um, yeah. Oh, too many cards. Okay. You could also just have somebody around you oh, who's a Queen of Wands. Okay. So let me just get the cards that fell and see what this is. So first of all, back here is the magician, bringing everything into balance. And this is what you're being encouraged to do. This is about um, understanding that it is in your power and right now is your time. Okay. You need to move on from this. And as soon as you start, look at this. Yeah. You have the 10, sorry, the nine of swords, the 10 of swords. So this is good. This is progression. You're going to be moving from what's been a nightmare and you're going to be moving past it. This is about making a clean break and it's going to happen quickly and things are going to balance out temperance. You're going to learn how to blend things. You're going to, you're going to see, I'm surprised that we also haven't gotten, um, uh, the hangman. You're going to see things from a new, you need to be flexible. Yeah. Um, just moving on, you will move on and it will happen quickly. All of a sudden you'll be like, it's, and that's all comes from this aha moment. It's just like, whoa, it's just, that's what I see. I see something big for you, Aquarius. You can choose to do this or you can stay here, but, um, you have to make, you have to make the progression on your own. Um, it, it's the time is right. The universe is ready for you to make this jump. Okay. Um, but you don't have a lot of major arcana. 
So you have to make the commitment to yourself to do this. Okay, guys, please do like and subscribe. I will see you in your mid-June reading. Thank you very much.